Let's look at a few things that the Hawkins police chief said during the city council meeting the other night about the 82-year-old lady's house that just didn't seem to match up with the other shit that he was saying. 269 Glaster was, was, was already taken off the list. Yeah. It was yeah. put on here. It was put on here without... Prior to. With, with, without... It was, it was actually... It was a residence we were looking at, and it was unintentionally added to this list. So and I'll put that on the record. We because it was not the intent. I'm not sure how something unintentionally gets put on the city council agenda, especially when the meeting was put off for two weeks because of the power outage, but it gets much better after that. Okay. What has she written? A citation or a violation on that? Is that going to also be pulled? No, she was not written she, anything. I don't think she was written anything. There's a warrant. I think they talked to her. No, she got a warrant. That house was tagged when she tagged. Okay, so the house was not tagged. The house was warned. We're issuing warnings with the red tags, our warnings. Yeah. Um, and the warnings were are, are at the discretion of the officer doing the code. Uh, they, uh, they don't mean anything. They're well, just a the request to... Woman, though, he does. I mean On that part, he falsely claimed that the lady didn't get a warning before going into the part saying that the officers have been writing warnings at their own discretion, but they don't mean anything. So the citizens of Hawkins should keep that in mind. I understand, and I've been by her house two or three times but in the you, last few weeks. But if you explain that to her, that that means nothing, she can throw it in the trash well, can? Well, I asked her if she had any questions about anything, and she, she didn't. So I mean, we, she, when we were down the fire station, we made numerous, twice a day, we went up there to offer her water, ice, and food, and she refused all of it, which that's her right. Right. Yeah. She, 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 but, right. Well, we didn't. We didn't write her. No, no, warning is was citation. Right. Is right. right. But she was only warned at that time. So the warning, we have since taken a, another look at it and everything else and gotten people involved to be able to help her get a better living conditions and so that's where we're that's why it's been so removed from you the didn't hear from those people you know yeah because that's it was well we were concerned about her you know, she, yeah she's no, she she years old and she you know that was three weeks ago yeah. and she yeah. hadn't heard anything from worried about it yeah because i was going to get the help first we give her 30 days to I did stop by there to check on it. Why didn't you tell her you were getting it? I mean, you know, that's what I'm saying. Maybe she wouldn't have been worried about it. She was worried right. that, you know, about I will, that. I will make a point to go see her to, to explain her to her that the warning does not mean that she's in any type of trouble. And okay. I'll explain that a little better. Yeah. So, um, that was not I mean, the you know, intent of anybody. She's by herself, so, you know, that just, it's not uh, she's taking care of someone who knows her. Then they lie more about how much they're trying to help her and how he's been by to check on her. And then at the end, he throws in that he's heard that she's taking care of somebody else, a 92 year old or 90 something year old man, which hasn't been there in fucking, I don't know, months. You know, you would think he would know that if he had been by to check on her, which he hasn't. Okay. I don't think we have on any of Okay, the only one here that I know of that's gotten a warning was for the junk. Hmm. The building itself, and that's the one on um, Francis. Francis. Francis, yeah. Okay, so they've been issued a warning on the city ordinance for the junk. You know, you give 30 days, you're going to have to wait till after that. That part was almost 10 minutes into the conversation about that 82-year-old lady getting a warning, and he just claimed that he don't know anything about any warnings being given except to this one other property. God damn it. So that everybody understands, okay, no one's been issued a warning for dangerous buildings. Yeah. What? Well, that lady was. It's got dangerous buildings on it? Yes. 
Okay, 102 is dangerous buildings. And I apologize. Ms. Glenn, I did not know she had been issued a warning for dangerous buildings. The others that I was aware of were issued warnings for trash and um, the cards that we issue just are checkbox cards. All right. <laughs> This was over 10 minutes into the conversation when he got loud and said, just so everyone understands, no one has been issued a warning for dangerous buildings, which is obviously a lie when that was what the whole fucking 10 minute conversation had been about up to that point. Separate from that, we're gonna move on a dangerous building because kids have been seen in the area. And they're smoking their dough and all that. Oh, yeah, so, separate from that, however long he gave them, which I'm, I can't keep up with every single warning issued by all my guys. Mm. It's not, it's never been, I mean, I'm never going to be able to do that. But, <laughs> separate from that, we want to do this, which is a. Then he said this crazy shit about that he could, he will never be able to keep up with all of the warnings given by all of his officers because i mean that just can't happen He'll, there's only three fucking full-time cops god damn if you can't there's only six on the fucking agenda you can't keep up with that there's a big goddamn problem the town cleaned up yeah. well but i'm not if, if there's been a warning issue for dangerous building we will wait until the end of the warning i will make sure before we move well, if come on man be clear that the officer know that because he wrote on the warning that 60 days to be in compliance and that was one of the questions i had when i saw it was 60 days to be in compliance or what and he didn't even write down what she was supposed to be how she was acting like. but the officers know that you have to go through this whole process because he wrote on the warning that you have 60 days to be in compliance he didn't say it'll have to go to the city council. Well, the city council is the only one that can declare well, a that, property I know that. as a I'm dangerous. Does the person granting the warnings know that? That's where the problem. Well, lies. I don't know, Chief. Most of us understand that. Okay, it, it's it's a courtesy ticket. It's a courtesy warning, Mr. Eddington. It's a courtesy warning that we, that we are putting on on the buildings that we are putting on houses. Their courtesies. And it even says the ones that I've got, uh, or the one, the, the, the form letter that we sent out says kindly to comply. We're asking you to kindly comply uh, with city ordinances. Now, as far as it goes, we have not, to my knowledge, issued any citations, okay? Citations for dangerous, for, for, any type of, of uh, dangerous building because it is that's knowledge now. We just told you that. Okay, that's what I'm bringing. Did you bring the notification with you? Do you have it? She said she's going to do a copy. Okay. Then he went back to that he has no knowledge of any warning citations being given out, which is just an attempt at playing semantics by trying to act like warning tickets aren't the same as citations, which they are if you're scaring an old lady by saying she has 60 days or you're going to do something to her property. That's definitely a fucking citation, but whatever. Once, since we're, since we're stuck on something that I'm asking to be um, passed on, once, once it was brought to my attention that this was put on the agenda, but e even before that, I was working on it, but the mayor and I had a meeting in which we started the ball rolling on replacing the trailer. Correct. So, with a new one. And we are, before I took it to her, I wanted to have my ducks in a row before I went promising a lady a trailer that I couldn't deliver. So, that's what I'm trying to get her is a new trailer, a whole new trailer. Once again, why wouldn't he just go by and tell her to disregard the warning ticket and that he was going to try to help her? He didn't have to promise her a new trailer or anything. Just promise her that he's going to try to help her. He's lying again. 
those were just a few snippets from the 20 something minute conversation about it. And I just don't get how, why it's so hard for somebody to just tell the truth and say, look, I mean, yeah, my officer fucked up and we're working on fixing it. Uh, go by and tell the old lady, look, we're going to help you. Don't worry about it. But they cannot do it. 